Okay, when it comes to Newton's first and second law, you gotta look at them as a pair of laws. You see, Newton's first and second law describe the, describes the only two possibilities that can happen. In our universe, basically, either the object's gonna follow Newton's first law or Newton's second law apply. So let's look at those together and then we'll look at them in more detail separately. As far as Newton's first law, this is a law for balanced forces. I know it's called the law of inertia and we're gonna write the law down in a few minutes. But basically I wanna give you an overview. Newton's first law is for balanced forces. That means when you have an object with one force pulling to the left and one force pulling to the right and the net force adds up to zero, or maybe there are no forces on the object at all, then those forces are considered balanced and Newton's first law applies. And what Newton's first law says is if the forces are balanced, you have two possibilities. It's at rest or a uniform motion. Those are the two possibilities. Newton's second law steps in when the forces are unbalanced. If there are unbalanced forces, that means there's more force in one direction than another, then you can look at it and calculate the net force on this one is four newtons to the left. When you have an unbalanced force, Newton's second law says it's going to accelerate. And it's going to accelerate in the direction of the unbalanced force. So, when you're looking at a free body diagram or looking at a question, the first thing you ought to ask, are the forces balanced or unbalanced? If they're balanced, then you say, okay, this is what's going to happen, and you look at what I'm going to talk about with Newton's first law. If the forces are unbalanced, then you look at this, and this is what's going to happen. It's going to accelerate. So those are, the two, are how the two laws work together. Now let's take a look at Newton's first law in some detail.